Hallelujah. Uh, uh, I received some uh, some 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 uh, questions and some uh, things that need uh, prophetic touch. And as one of the prophets of God in the country of Kenya, I'm coming on board to put things in the light perspective because uh, the church in the nation of Kenya, we must know where we are and we also uh, must put our house in order. Yeah, many other times we want to point fingers at uh, the government and what is happening, yet uh, the problem uh, is, is, is the body not the entire body but you know we are we are all members of the same body so when one part is not okay the entire body is not okay now we must deal this is what the lord is saying i've written some few things so i'm going to read them and i'm going to read the scriptures uh, because we need to put things in the right perspective from the first day of uh february 2022 and and i also want to let the nation of kenya know particularly the church that uh, the elections of 2022 is not business as usual. It is God at work. Uh, it does not matter who is being supported by who and who is supporting who. It is God at work. And God has come uh, to right I mean, try to position the nation of Kenya in the nations of the world. So God will clear the way. It is his way. So God is going to clear his way in the name of Jesus. So the Lord is speaking to the church in Kenya and he's saying today, we must deal with the root cause of the church problems. We must deal with the roots. You know of the church problems in kenya the root uh the root is the issue you know the root cause is the issue and what else we are seeing coming up those are th those are things that are budding you know or sprouting out uh f from the roots or from the trunk that has been there you know the, the, the lord is saying they are just signs and symptoms sym symptoms you know they're just signs and symptoms of what is already done in, in the church or concerning the church in this nation now the current regime you know uh, the huruto um, they stopped the registration of the church in the nation of kenya they facilitated yeah because of uh, uh and i understand them because of uh you know of the representation that is there up on uh, at the top of the church and the complaints that were there even in the media so uh, the government of kenya you know as a as, as a government it, it has the the, the, the authority uh, merited by the constitution of the nation uh, to, to stop whatever should be stopped but listen to this the current regime uh, facilitated um, you know the, or they were in the office they are still in the office because of the registration of, 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 of the church was stopped in, in their in their regime you know um, so anything connected to church is not being registered anymore a and I, I keep on wondering because I know deputy president of Kenya uh, confesses to be a Christian the president of the nation of Kenya confesses to be a Christian does it mean that uh, when when some few people erred in the church does it mean that the, the entire church was supposed to be victimized I've not seen them uh, stop the registration of companies because some companies are corrupt or uh, you know stopping business registration because some businesses are corrupt I've not seen that so wh why why touch the church why touch the church now that's a question we, sh we should all be uh, asking now my, my issue is not even that my issue as a prophet in the country is that neither of them the deputy president who support uh, who purports to be supporting the church and to be for the church i have never had him address this matter he, he has never addressed it i've not even had the, our president uh, who who confesses to be a christian i have never had him address this matter at, at whatever time i've never had them address this matter so um today they have not addressed it so nobody can purport to be for the church yet they have not addressed such kind of matters you know I, i've not seen other things even when people are caught in corruption i've not seen them stop uh, registering you know uh, business names or business or company names i've not seen that uh, and we are seeing the church is victimized in this particular issue so anything else that that, that has been done you know uh, in support of the church it's not genuine so nobody should should purport to be genuine among us you know uh, the people who have uh, even the people who are in the in the in the, in the company register uh, the, the registrars of society and all of you uh, anybody who is for the church uh, and they have not addressed this uh, then even if somebody comes and gives money or whatever they speak for the church they are not genuine 
and the Church of Jesus Christ, we must we, we must address this matter with finality and and, uh, and know who is for us and who is not for us. And uh, we, we must be very keen in the spirit to be able to test every spirit. So uh, the Lord is saying anything else done in support of the church is not genuine. Now it is time we 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 have you know uh, we, we have praises uh, you know uh, in this time we have. We, we, we have, uh, we, 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 that is where we are. In business, we have corruption everywhere. Even in the church, we have, we have corrupt. People are covering up in the church, but they are corrupt, you know. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, we have them that are below the standard of the bride of Jesus Christ. But that does not mean that everybody is corrupt. And I want the authorities of the day to know, just like the way um, w when people are corrupt in, in, your, in your government setups, does not mean every minister is corrupt. If, if one was caught in corruption, does not mean everybody is corrupt. So you don't victimize you know, the entire setup because of one person who was for, uh, found in corruption. So, and, uh, and uh, just like the way uh, we are seeing, you know, some governors have been reshuffled. I mean, a cabinet ministers have been reshuffled, and uh, you know, and others are left because of corruption. Some governors have uh, been removed from uh, from offices because of corruption. That does not mean the entire governorship, you know, is corrupt. So you don't victimize the church because of one, two people who are found to be, you know, to be below the standard of the church of Jesus Christ. So, uh, and uh, God, uh, just like the way you are seeing businesses come up, business names, and uh, you are seeing even the new people come up in politics, you know, new faces. Uh, the same case applies to the church. God is still anointing. God is still calling. God is still giving visions and, and uh, you know, and, uh, you know, visions uh, to, and, and, uh, and uh, dreams to the new ministers. He's raising the ministers of the gospel. He's raising in our days. So, the church was not supposed to be victimized because of one, two, three people. The government has all the mechanism of dealing with those individuals, not victimizing the entire body. So there, something was wrong, and I keep on wondering uh, the representation of the church. You know, and uh, let me tell you, my brethren, let, let us hit the nail on the head. The government is not even in the problem. The people who are representing the church up there. They are the problem because we don't have a voice that is able to address everybody is now quiet. Nobody is talking about it. Nobody can face the president and his deputy. You know, the deputy of the uh, the deputy president is all over in the country. You know, uh, purporting to be for the church and supporting the church. But why aren't we addressing the the root? Because the Lord is speaking to us on the first day of February that we address 2022. We address the root. We deal with the root. Hallelujah. So the author, the authorities in the Lord. You know, has been mandated by the constitution uh, to check on the welfare of the citizens. So even touching the church, you know, because we are also citizens of the country. Now, uh, uh, church-related things are, are, are not the only places that are fake, that we are fighting fake people, that we are fighting corruption. You know, churches, no, uh, church-related uh, things. This is, this is not the only place where we are fighting the fake and the corrupt. Even in the business arena and even the government setups, we have these things all allowed. Hallelujah. Now, this does not mean that God isn't raising new vessels in the church for God's own glory and purposes. He's still doing it. Just like the way we are seeing new politicians and new businessmen and women, God is still doing that even in the church of Jesus Christ. So, uh, just like we have new faces in business world and even politics coming up, the same things are happening to, to God. Is God is still raising for himself such uh, in the in the church of jesus christ and so a, a good government you know a good government and people who love god genuinely should not touch or uh, or restrict you know one one, uh, one area uh, and uh, and leave the others untouched you know yeah we should uh, we should have a government that is balancing if you are touching the church that touch, 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 touch the business arena touch the government bodies Hallelujah, not just touching one thing. Amen. So I would have seen a uh, government stopping, you know, registration of business names because business were found, uh, three quarters were found to be corrupt. Yeah. So don't, so there we, we see something was not okay. And I, I, I don't think there was somebody to advise the government. And if they were advised, you know, I, I don't know what happened because I, I'm not a part of that. So I came just to correct that, that we are supposed to deal with the root cause. Now, the government of any nation has a, you you know, has all the mechanism to get hold of anybody who is a threat of peace and the welfare of their citizens, including the people who are the body of Jesus Christ, not to victimizing the whole body of Jesus Christ because of one thing. 
you know, that somebody has done or two uh, people purporting to be servants of God have done. Hallelujah. I've not seen you people are uh, victimizing then uh, all the governors because of one or two governors who messed up here and there. Hallelujah. Now, one thing there is, uh, in, in, uh, we must know where we are. I'm talking to the church uh, that... Uh, 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 we, we are seeing the root cause. So, because somebody sent me a creep that uh, one of the mothers in the country, uh, Ida Odinga, was talking about uh, the restriction uh, the registration of churches. I don't know what. I've not followed up that. But let me tell you now, I cannot victimize. That's a mother in the land. I cannot victimize her. The, now, the problem is not even her. The problem is the root cause of the. Uh, the problem is the root. Now, we deal with the root cause because now what she is doing and what she has said and what any other person can come saying touching the church is coming from the root so the root is the supply of all the other things we are seeing because these other things we are seeing they are budding you know they are they are just plotting out you know from the root cause of the problem hallelujah so um one thing that we must know is that we are in any times and the church must know that you know the government and even uh, everybody must must know that the church is a body of jesus christ and it is built on the rock and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it so uh nobody you know, I've always said, even uh, when there were lockdowns and what have you, I've always said that's the agenda of, of the devil. Even from the Bible, you see that the agenda of the devil from the beginning, you know, to victimize the church, to, to try and fight the church. But there is an assurance of the word of God that nobody, no gates of hell can prevail against the church. Now, I want the church to know that tears and wheat will go together. So who is coming to separate this? Is Jesus, the owner of the church. So we see the, we see the sheep and the goats you know, uh, being together. A and we see uh, wolves in sheep clothing. We, we see wolves in sheep clothing. Hallelujah. So who is going to handle this? It is Jesus. Hallelujah. It is Jesus who is uh, he's the owner of the body. So it is, it is him who will handle that. And uh, you know, Jesus is telling the disciples, I said you as sheep, you know, among us wolves. So that is it. So that is it. We, we expect things to be there. And they are not going to change. They have been there from days memo memorial until now. Hallelujah. The other thing we see is, uh, you know, uh, religion, religion covered up in church. Jesus did not leave uh, a religion called church. Church is not a religion. That church is not another religious setup. And this is where the rubber is meeting the road. Because uh, we, the church of Jesus Christ, we have not been able to separate the church you know, from other religious setup, church is not religion. Church is the body of Jesus Christ, and it cannot fit up in other religious setup. It is not religion. Hallelujah. So we, we are seeing that the other biggest problem we have is religion. You know, other religious setups present and religious uh, priests and priesthood representing the church. So the church seems to be, you know, covered up in some religious setups and uh, some religious, and it is represented by religious priests. They can never have a voice for the church. They cannot speak for Christ. Hallelujah. Because they don't know him and they are not living for him. They are living for their religion. Hallelujah. And the religion is a setup of men. So now now we, we we should also know that we are in, in days even if the government is trying or is going to try as uh, mama said what well, I, I i'm seeing she said about the regulation of the church you know uh, i want them to know that we have people in business world who have not gone to school and they are doing they are multi-billionaires and they have never gone to school now we look at the word of god in the book of acts people like peter you know they operated under the influence and the power of the holy spirit they, they were not schooled so uh, god not everybody not not if you look at the prophet look at jesus which school did jesus go to so mama aida you cannot regulate us to go to school uh, i don't the people who are able to go to school it is okay but not everybody is uh, is called to go to school you know some of us went to school but now god is raising vessels and anointing them because we are in a season of the holy spirit now in business world people need those papers and whatever but in the church of jesus christ my god not not everybody. God is anointing by the power of his Holy Spirit. Look at what Jesus is accomplishing, what Jesus is doing. You know, look at the apostles of Jesus Christ. You know, because why they are operating church is a, a church is a body of Jesus Christ. And it is, it is under the control and the leadership and rulership of Jesus and the Holy Spirit of the truth. Hallelujah. So uh, if somebody is able to go to school and well and good, you know, there are people, even uh, people like uh, in, in Masai and then those, uh, those, uh, th those villages down there, you know, people like uh, in Trokana, those villages down there have been there in some, some, some very remote areas. 
and uh, those people are some of you know we have servants of god there you know they cannot be compared with with, with, the, with the people in the city of nairobi or people in mombasa who are able to access some facilities so if god anoints a man of god in trukana in those regions even uh, even in, in nairobi not everybody is called to go to school god does by the way there are people god calls and he does not want them to be defiled by 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 that religious training why the spirit of god ordains them and the, like jeremiah Hallelujah. God is telling Jeremiah, I knew you before you were conceived in your mother's womb and had already ordained you to be a prophet to nations. Hallelujah. So when Jeremiah is coming up, he's a prophet already. So which other school can train a prophet? No? Who, who, who trained who trained people like uh, like, like Elijah the, the Tishbite? No, no, no. So we must know. And uh, uh, I'm talking to our mothers and the people who are up there, even in the politics. Kaidre told to your right. Know your are, know you are area know your area so that you are not found to be fighting with god on matters and issues that are, you are not sure of yeah so, so that we don't hurt you, you, the destiny even of your children in the name of jesus so not everybody not everybody is called uh, by god and told to go to school god speaks to his servants god speaks to his servants so we cannot uh and i want to give a very good example we have so many business uh, men and women who, uh, who have not gone to any school you know, and uh, who have not even, even, even who don't even know how to speak English, and they are doing great things. They are, they, they, they own real estates. You know, they own those things. Have you regulated them? So leave the Church of Jesus Christ alone. There's people who are called to go to school. Go to school. Hallelujah. And let, let those who are uh, who are called by God and God ordains them and uh, you know puts the, His word in their mouths, like what God is telling Ezekiel. You know, eat this scroll. Hallelujah. Eat eat the word. Hallelujah. And I have had even old people who have never gone to school. And that old woman is able to, uh, she, she knows scriptures because why? The Spirit of God will teach us all things. Church is not, cannot be regulated by any man. Hallelujah. I know the government could be having the welfare of the citizens in, in their heart. But then there are areas you cannot touch. There are areas you cannot touch. So we should know that, uh, you know, uh, we are in days, we, uh, we are in end times, and people are heaping teachers for themselves. Who we'll teach them what uh, if you are eating ears, what to hear. That's, uh, you read that in the second Timothy, chapter 4 and verse 3 and 4. You know, you are, you are looking at those scriptures. Religious setups, you read for yourself. Jesus is talking about this in Matthew 23, 1 to 29. Matthew 16, 11 to 12. Hallelujah. Some of these scriptures are very good. Let me just read for you one of them. Uh, Matthew, Matthew 16. Matthew 16, Matthew 16, um, 11 and 12, 11 and 12. So the Bible says, 11 and 12, how is it to you? Uh, do not understand that I did not speak to you concerning bread, but to beware of the living of the, of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. These are religious people. Uh, then they understood that he did not tell them to beware of the, uh, of the living of bread, of, of the living of, of bread but of the doctrine of the pharisees and the sadducees so we have them these are religious people you know they and they'll always be there hallelujah they'll always be there so uh, we cannot victimize one portion of the church or uh, the, the entire body of jesus christ because of such kind of people now you look at the word of god by the way even the people who are the false prophets and the false apostles they are not the biggest issue is the biggest issue is that we are in days where people are heaping for themselves teachers who teach them what their itching ears want to hear Hallelujah. So we are in those days where many, even as so-called servants of God, have sold their bad right. This is what the Spirit of God was speaking to me in the morning. And this is not only in Kenya, because of the days we are in. You know, many servants of God have sold their bad rights, you know, uh, and like his own. And, and uh, because of what they can easily eat, even from politicians and from authorities of the day. That's why you see many people in the church, even uh, who hold big offices in the church, they have no voice. They cannot rebuke the government officers. You know, they, they cannot correct even the government of the day. They have no voice, yet they are supposed to be correcting them, you know, and they're correcting in love and instructing them. We don't see that nowadays. Why? Because many people in the church, particularly people who have, you know, uh, big influence, they have sought, I'm not talking about all of them, but many even the children of God who are in business, field and whatever. Many people in the church have sold their, their bad rights because of what they can easily get and eat for that moment. They, they, we don't have gener our, the generation of our tomorrow. We are not mindful about our tomorrow's generation. Hallelujah. And that's why you see, you know, uh, we, we have allowed, we have allowed even politicians, 
for all the other four years and so they are quiet they don't bother about the church nobody is bothering about the registration of the church hallelujah but when now it comes to port to, to seasons of politics you know because they want us to give them our votes they begin now covering up and coming to the church have you seen them even carry bibles and some of them even carry bibles upside down they even don't know you know creeps are all over why because now church has become a playground of the enemy why because we have sold our birthright so the problem is not even the politicians the problem is not even the government we are the problem we are the, we, we we have the root cause of the problem in our midst and in our in ourselves so we deal with that we deal with that as the church in kenya we deal with that hallelujah because uh, uh, seriously speaking how can a politician be allowed to see, to share the same platform whether it is a president or you know whatever you no know, anywhere in the world we have never seen that in the bible there was a place for the for, for priests there was a place for proof of the prophets and there was a place for authorities of the of the lord there is a place for that and we, it can never change and it can never change we cannot have politicians going and studying on the podiums and pulpits where ministers of the gospel preach seriously we cannot and they are doing their polit politics there even uh, you know uh insulting their fellow politicians and all of you defiling the houses of god and uh, you know the ministers of the gospel with their clothes and whatever they are sitting there silence now what, what now who is the problem is this the politician or the church hallelujah because of what maybe you have called the for a fundraiser because of what they're about to give you so you cannot say nothing you cannot even correct that yeah? so who is the problem so the Lord is saying we deal with the root cause. They are not mindful of the we are, uh, people who are not mindful of the, 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 tomorrow, the generation of, the, of our tomorrow. So this is what has defiled the church more, more so. Uh, not every um, uh, not uh, now uh, not everyone can face the politicians or the authorities of the day and rebuke them, instruct them in love, you know. And uh, since they have soiled. Many people have sold their garment of the wedding of the Lamb of God, you know, with so many things. Hallelujah. Even whatever hard out they receive from politicians. So you cannot correct somebody because uh, uh, even the church, you, you are, you, the, the church facility where you are ministering, uh, their own sheets and whatever else has been done, the cementing is coming from uh, somebody. So you cannot rebuke them. I don't say giving is bad, but then w there should be that demarcation. There should be that demarcation which is clearly put in the word of God. Now, this church is... Um, uh, mm, now, when you look at this, the impartation that is flowing from the altar uh, is not the right imp uh, impartation to the frog. So the entire body is, is being affected from the root. And that's why the Lord is saying we check the root. Even before we say, I don't know, Mama Aida has said what, I don't know who is saying what, can we check the root cause? Because the Lord is saying what is now coming up is their, their buds. You know, their new bud, it's a new budding of, of the tree that is coming and the problem is coming from the, from the root. So we deal with the root. Hallelujah. Now, church in Kenya, it is time to pray right. We pray right. Because many of the times we pray like fire brigade, like uh, ambulances. So the Lord is saying this time we pray right. We must repent and humble ourselves and own up. Where we have erred as a church, we must own up. Hallelujah. Because we cannot build on the faulty foundation. We cannot. We cannot. Now, it is no time to point fingers at other people. You know, but it is time to clear things out and speak uh, the truth to ourselves. Church of Jesus Christ, the Lord is saying, it is not time to point fingers out. It is time to speak the truth to ourselves and correct things, restore order in the church. Hallelujah. So the church is fighting itself. The people who are saying they are Christians up there, all over, even in a, in a, in a, in a, in a government setups, and the, the business world. You know, the church is fighting itself, but God has a remnant like Joseph, Daniel, Esther, the Gideons of our time, people who have not, uh, people, people who have not run the standard and compromise with, with what is happening in these early times. Hallelujah. And I have always been saying, and I'll say it on this audio, because it is a truth in the heart of God. It is time for the nation of Kenya to be rightfully positioned in the nations of the world. It is time for the nation of Kenya to get to her prophetic destiny this time. And the elections of 2022 will be such a determining factor. So I have always said, neither Honorable Ruto nor Honorable Raira Odinga is the choice of God for the next president or for the fifth president of the nation of Kenya. Neither of the two. 
neither of the two neither of the two i'm ready to be stoned neither of the two i will speak the truth with authority and i'll speak the heart of god neither of the two has has been graced by god to take the nation of kenya to her prophetic destiny neither of the two is graced by god to meet the wife the nation of kenya to her prophetic destiny neither of the two and i hear that in the spirit of god somebody is asking me prophet so who is who who is who yeah pray hallelujah if you are a member of my fellowship i must have said this so neither of the two neither of the two is the choice of god for the prophetic destiny of the nation of kenya hallelujah now we, we are in a season like what was happening in the u.s we, that's where we are right now the kingdom of darkness is claiming ownership of the nation of kenya and the kingdom of god is claiming ownership of the nation so we are we are in, in between the nation of kenya is now torn in between the two the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of god so we must agree with god as citizens of kenya O oh god of all creation and allow god to to give us the reader that is after his heart hallelujah and uh, we have been saying these things you can go to a youtube and check the messages for the nation of kenya then you can know where god is taking the nation by and but one thing there is is that god will clear the way for his purposes in the nation of kenya this time in jesus name hallelujah so start we must arise and um and know that it is time to prophet carry midwife that is our assignment right now church we must arise it is not time to point fingers and to look at flaws and look at what it is time to start in our position and arise to the occasion and prophetically midwife the nation of kenya to her rightful position in the world that is the season we are in as a church in the nation of kenya to prophetically or spiritually midwife the nation so take your position start in your position and do what you're supposed to do as a son of god where you are you are representing christ in jesus name now for the sake of god's remnant in kenya god will rescue you know her destiny from the traps of satan for the sake of the remnant and god and you know the heart of god that is already you know the heart of god is already outstretched over the nation of kenya and god is saying he will fix all things to ensure they fit in well and flow as per his heartbeat you know and because it is god's hour for the nation hallelujah so god will clear anybody and anything from his way god will do that for the nation of kenya because kenya belongs to god hallelujah zechariah chapter 4 and verse 6 it's not by might not by power but the spirit of god is at work in jesus name so we are in any times and uh I don't want even to help the government of Kenya. We are in a season where we shall see the false prophets and the false teachers. That is the word of God. So there is nothing, even if you try to restrict, there is nothing you can do. They will still be there. You lock them out in one town, they go and lock themselves in, in rooms, in houses, and people will gather there. And people will be right to, because that is where we are. That is the season we are in. So that is where we are. Even the government cannot restrict this because it is a sign of the end times. Hallelujah. So second Timothy, I mean second Thessalonians chapter 2, you see that the word of God is very clear matthew 24 the word of god is very clear second team of the three one to nine previous times hallelujah first team of the four one to two hallelujah some of these scriptures are so sweet no let's let's read that one uh the book of uh uh first timothy first timothy let's let's go to first timothy first timothy chapter four verse one to two the bible says now the spirit uh the spirit express says that in latter times now these the days we are in some will depart from the from from the faith giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons that is where we are no you know we, we should stop lying to ourselves we are people who are calling themselves servants of god and they are mercadizing in the houses in the houses they are calling houses of god selling oil selling selling everything you know using salt using milk and water everything like witchcraft so these these are doctrines of demons you know uh, causing the children of god and coercing them to, to sow light left and center giving light left, 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 left and center you know, we have these people why these are doctrines of demons and, and people this is where people are hallelujah speaking lies in hypocrisy having their own concerns you know uh, smeared with hot oil hot iron this is where we are so we in these days so we cannot change people are de have already departed from faith and that's why you see even some 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 so-called servants of god people are going for demonic rituals uh, they are going to be taken through demonic rituals given rings i'm told even that they swallow them uh, have you seen later even we have uh demon and you know uh demonically empowered shoes uh, which which has a sign of a overhead of a pavement 
and uh, it is a gold thing that is fixed there at the head of a python and you may think it's a decoration of a shoe and but these shoes are called that uh, they, they are miraculous shoes they have miracle power no now what do you call this so the, we are in because why, why are we seeing this because we are in early times and, and because people don't want to seek on for themselves they are running there so even the government cannot restrict this because it is the days we are in hallelujah so government of kenya save yourself some energy <laughs> save yourself some energy hallelujah so the bible says uh we, we are seeing that in conclusion matthew 5 matthew 5 matthew 5 matthew 5 and um let's let's read that word i'm never in a hurry when we are collecting some of these we are not in a hurry because the word of god has mandated us to do that and we are doing that in humility but in boldness because we must speak out the truth so before we hit people who are saying whatever they are hitting the lord is saying we deal with the root cause uh matthew 7 matthew 7 15 to 20 matthew 7 15 to 20 the bible says beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep clothing but inward they are levious wolves you will know them by their fruits do not uh do men gather grapes from uh, uh thorn bushes or figgy uh, or figs from uh, from vistos even so every good tree bears good fruit but a bad tree bears bad fruit a good tree cannot bear bad fruit nor can a bad tree bear good fruit even um every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire therefore by their fruit you will know them now and i want to say anybody who calls themselves christians and they cannot hone and respect the authorities of the day you know and they want god to trust them with you if you are not faithful with someone else's god will never trust you with your own that is the bottom line of the matter and let me tell you the truth motives of people either in church or in, in politics motives of people will be exposed by god himself because god is doing an operation to clear every mess that is affecting the prophetic destiny of the nation of kenya so the motives in the hearts of people people who are bitter people who are saying you know uh, 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 you know, uh, I know uh, people who are saying, you know, full of vengeance. People who are saying, if I get, it, they are going to see. If I get this position, the, uh, this tribe and these people are going to see. Now, God is hearing all these things. God can search our hearts. He can see. So, even if we shout and we go around the nation, God will never give position to such kind of people. Because why? The politics of 2022 are not like any other year. This is a determining factor for the positioning of the nation of Kenya rightly in the nations of the world prophetically by the grace of God. Hallelujah. So first Timothy, first Timothy just ahead there. First Timothy. Uh first Timothy. Uh let's go to first Timothy. First Timothy chapter four, verse twelve to sixteen. First Timothy chapter four, verse twelve to sixteen. Let uh, let no one despise your youth. But uh, uh, now this is where the Church of Jesus Christ we should be. No, this is where the Church of Jesus Christ should be. But be an example to the believers in word. We should be. Ex we should live an example life in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Are you hearing this, Church? We should live an exam an example in our lives. You know, in a, in, a, in in our words, in our conduct, in our love, in spirit, in faith, in purity. That means we should live as a you know as an, an example. You know, uh, uh, reflecting Christ. That when uh, when uh, everywhere you are in business, everywhere we must deal with the root cause. The government is not the problem. The root cause is the church itself. Church is fighting itself. The body is fighting itself because our whatever God has positioned our members, you know, the members of the body, some of them, they are not really representing Christ in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, and in purity. That's why somebody can corrupt. They can sell. They have sold their inheritance because of a of a of a of a, of a, of a print of some 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 delicacies. You know, some two million, some one million, some five hundred thousand. You know, somebody can 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 just compromise. You know, because of the ritual, you know, hard outs, and they forget to study in the gap, you know, for the sake of the body. Because when you are messed up as a member of the body, the entire body is messed up. So we are dealing with the root cause. The government is not on the root cause. The root cause is the church. But God has a remnant. So I mean, Paul is telling the son, till I come, give attention to the reading, uh, to exhortation. To doctrine so that is where we are so that you're not messed up do not neglect the gift that is in you which was given to you by the prophecy with uh with the rain or or or, or, or on the hearts of the eldership meditate on these things give yourself entirely to them 
that your progress may be evident to all. Now, the progress of the church and the growth of the church may not be evident to all because people are, are, are looking for where they can be told whatever, whatever they will be told, but they are not heeding to the scriptures, you know, to the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the knowledge of the word of God. So take heed to yourself and, and, uh, and to the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this, you will save both yourself and those who hear you. Now listen to this everywhere you, you are as a son of God, as a Christian in the nation of Kenya. Know that you are there representing the entire body. So if you are corrupt in business, the entire body is being affected. If you are a government officer purporting to be a Christian, if you are not living right, if you are not doing things as a Christian, and yes, you are saying you are professing to be a Christian, you are messing up with the entire body. You are messing us up. You're messing the flow that is coming down to us is not godly. It is really messing up the flow. It, you are cutting us off. You are tinting us. So the root cause is not the government or anybody. It is the church itself. When each one of us know where God has taken us, we are supposed to be, um, you know, uh, uh, fully representing Christ. You know, whatever we do, either in this or in words, we do unto Him. Then the church is going to be healed. And when the church is in order, you know, the body is in order. You know, the, even the, the physical things around us will, will, will attain that shape by the grace of God in Jesus' name. Second Peter, Second Peter, just ahead there. Second Peter, uh, chapter three. Second Peter, chapter three. I'm there. Chapter three, uh, fourteen to eighteen. Second Peter, chapter, chapter three, fourteen to eighteen. Let's read this scripture. The Bible says. Therefore, beloved, looking forward to these things, be diligent to be found by him in peace without spot and blameless, as, a, as considering that the, the, the long suffering of our Lord um, is salvation, uh, as also our beloved brother Paul, according to the wisdom given to him, has written to you, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to understand, which untaught and uh, unstable people twist to their own destruction. You see this, you know, uh, as they do also the rest of the scriptures. They twist the scriptures because they, 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 they don't want to, to sit under, you know, the counsel of God and be taught. You therefore, beloved, since you know this before hard, beware lest you also follow from uh, from your own uh, steadfastness being led away with this error of the wicked now you see if people don't want to be taught the truth they are looking for teachers for themselves even the government cannot control that because it is a choice people are making but to grow in the grace and the knowledge of our lord and savior jesus christ to him be the glory both now and forever are you seeing this so it's a choice is a choice you can read that also again in the in the book of first john 4 1 and 6 first john 4 1 to 6 hallelujah we can read that hallelujah now uh second peter go and read for yourself second peter and uh, chapter 2 second peter and chapter 2 read all of it hallelujah so the lord is saying church in kenya let us clean our house let us clean our house let us clean our house so before we point at uh, whoever is saying this, I don't know whoever, the Lord just spoke to me and told me uh, there is a root cause that, that uh, we are supposed to deal with. We deal with the root cause. And let me read this. Let me read this. Uh, Matthew 7, Matthew 7, 3 to 5. The Bible says, And why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye, but do not consider the plaque in your own eyes? Hallelujah. Or how, or how can you say to your brother, let me remove the speck from your eye and look a plaque is in your own eye. Eh? Hypocrites, first remove the plaque from your own eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Hallelujah. Now listen to this. That is it. And church, the Bible says in verse 6, do not give what is holy to dogs, nor cast your, pe your, pe your, 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 your pearls uh, before swine. Look at this. This is a problem with the church. So we, we have we have we have gotten there. That's why a politician can start to rebuke the church. I uh, know somebody can say many uh, pastors, you know, they are just after tithes. I see the people who are employed by the government. They are not after salary. Why are you working? So the minister of the gospel should eat from what is brought in the house of God. Because when we are rebelling, fasting and praying, you know, for the destinies of people, for the healing of people, 
No, we are rebelling so that they, they are, their way of being can be sorted out. And when their way of being is sorted out, then we eat from there. Hallelujah. And, and so anybody can have God of, of doing that. Because why? The church of Jesus Christ, we, we have given uh, the holy things to dogs. Yeah? And we have cast our, our pearls, you know, uh, to swines, before swines. And what are they doing? They are trampling them under their feet. And they turn, uh, they turn and tear uh, us in pieces. That is what they are doing. Matthew 7, verse 6. That is what they are doing. Now, who is the problem? It's not the government. It is not anybody. It is a church. So when we arise to the occasion as individuals, we must know as an individual, there is an, it is an individual call. Judgment will come to us individually. Reward will come to us individually. This is not, the Lord is saying to the church in Kenya, it is time for self-soul searching. Self, those who are saying they are Christians in the government setup, kindly represent the, the church there. Kindly represent, holy, not partially, represent the church there. Holy, stand for Christ there. Stand for the body. Know you are also a member of the body. And when the member, when you, when the member, when, when you, you, you misrepresent the, the body because God has given you a position up there and the body is affected down here, know that your reward is coming. Know that your judgment is on the way. Hallelujah. So it is time for each one of us to do self self searching. And it is not time to blame. It is not time for a blame game. It is time to put the, 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 the entire house in order. It is time to put the church is built on the rock. The rock is Jesus. And the gate of hell shall never prevail against it. I want to surprise you. The more the children of Israel were, were afflicted in Egypt, the more they increased. Hallelujah. So nobody can, uh, nobody, by then nobody can mess up with the church. Even if they try, if the church is the body of Jesus Christ, God will always fight for, for the church and clear from his way. Amen. What is not supposed to be there, what, is, what could be affecting the body? Because it is the body of his son. Hallelujah. And God is all powerful. He's active. He's reality. He's present. He can see. Hallelujah. So as I correctly, somebody could be asking me, prophetess, what are you doing? I want us to go to the word of God in the book of Titus chapter 1. God has murdered us to, to correct this. Uh, we have been murdered by the Lord to correct this. Uh, yeah, we are doing what we are doing under commanded authority because we shall not just buy anything. We, we are concerned about the generation of the people behind us. So let us read from verse 6, Titus chapter 1 from verse 6 to 16. So this is what the word of God has allowed us to do. Now, this look, look at this. If a man is blameless, the husband of one wife, having uh, faithful children, not accused of this uh this dis, uh, dis, um dispersion <laughs> or in stubbornation uh for a bishop must be blameless as a steward of god not self-willed are you seeing this so every bishop out there representing the church even before the government you must be blameless know that you are a steward of god you must not be self-willed not quick tempered not given to wine we have bishops in our nation who are drinking not and, and people i know reverence and people who are living like this not you should not be given to wine no not violent not greedy for money are you seeing this so anybody representing us there whether a bishop a reverend whatever you call yourself and you are greedy of money you can take two million and keep silent when the church is being victimized let me tell you the word of god is rejecting you and rebuking you now look at this but hospitable a lover of what is good, sober-minded. This is now, the servant of God should be like this, hospitable, lover of what is good, sober-minded, just, holy, self-controlled, hallelujah, holding fast the faith, the, the faithful word, as he has been taught, you know, that he may be able, that's why I've always said, uh, everybody who wants to be a leader, including bishops, must be seated under the doctrine, you know, the teaching of the apostles, Hallelujah, so that you can get the right counsel. Now hold him fast to the faithful word, as he has been taught, that he may be able, by sound doctrine, both to exhort and convict those who contra contradict. Are you seeing this? Now, because people are out there and they, they, have, they have no self-control, they are lovers of money, they, they cannot correct nothing. Now look at this, the Bible says, for there are many uh, in subordinate, um, in subordinate, both idol talkers, and deceivers especially those of the circumcision you know people who say they are christians and people who say they are, they, they are, they are of the side of god look at this whose mouths full of uh, whose mouths must be stopped and that's why we are coming online whose uh, who who 
subvert whole um, whole households teaching things which they ought not for, for for the sake of dishonest gain are you seeing this this these people are out there they are teaching what they are not supposed to be teaching uh, because of because of a dishonest uh, dishonest gain because of what they are going to get from people one of them a prophet of their own said um are Christians are always liars you know they are always liars evil beasts raise gratons are you seeing these people uh this testimony is true therefore rebuke them god has given us authority to rebuke such sharply that they may be sound in the faith not giving heed to jewish uh, fables and uh, and commandments of men who turn from the truth to the pure all things are pure but to those who are defiled and unbelieving nothing is pure but even their might and their consciences are defiled are you seeing this hallelujah they profess to know god but in their works they deny him being a ab uh, being abominable disobedient and disqualified for every good work are you seeing this so god has given us authority to rebuke such and to correct that you know and i'm speaking to the church in the nation of kenya the lord is saying the root cause of the church problems is the church itself it's the church herself it's upright so it's herself it's the church herself the people who purport to uh, to be speaking for us and the people who who say they are of us and they are they are within us and they are for us you know some of these people have gone out of the way and that's why nobody has spoken for the church even concerning the registration that was stopped in the nation of kenya nobody even the people up there who say they are christians nobody has fought for this nobody is speaking about this and god did not stop calling church because one two three people are errored here and there we are in the season of that so just like the way you have not regulated and stopped the registration of businesses and the companies that messed up uh, if you are if you are seriously careful we have even government officers who have been very very corrupt if you have not stopped government from running because of that kind of people who are caught in corruption kaitre you cannot touch the church and begin building reg regulations that are, are messing up the flow of the spirit of god in the nation of kenya i'm telling you the truth the people who are concerned the minute you begin talking about such things and touching the church the owner of the church is following you and your children to the fourth generation hallelujah so the problem and the root cause is the church the people who purport to be for church and they they they, they, they purport you know a lot of a lot of counterfeit you know a lot of ishmaelite spirit out there counterfeit counterfeit that is that the purport to be for the church in this one thing and, and the other but they are not for the church in little sense they are counterfeit they are counterfeit they are counterfeit because i, I expect if somebody is for the church they are they, they are bothered about the church holy not partially so i am asking in kenya the, the the current regime you know they facilitated the stopping of the registration of anything church in kenya and ministries you know that, that they are connected to church so who is speaking for this so if somebody is saying i'm for the church so can this error be corrected from the roots can this error be corrected from the roots corruption is not only in the church no uh, uh, failure is not only in the church now these are signs of end times falsehood and corruption and cheating and lie i mean cheating and lies they are not just found in the church they are all over you know because these are the signs of end times this is where we are generally this is where we are so who is anybody who is saying they are for church can we correct the the, the error from the roots because god is just like the new potentials are coming up and i see you some of you people calling yourselves uh, uh, christians up there i see you support you know even the new who are coming in your 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 in your, in your, in your, in your political alliances and whatever you're supporting them you have not been with them before but you're supporting they are coming up and you're supporting who say that god stopped calling servants of god when uh, so and so errored you know kaidre let us deal with the root cause of this problem and let us not uh, let us they are saying it is not time for brain games it is not time to point fingers it is time to put the, the body in order let us clean the house that is called the body of jesus christ let us put things in order and we are going to enjoy the faithfulness of god i am mandated by god to correct this i do this with boldness and uh, but i do that it in humility because uh, we, we are fighting some long battles we are fighting some long battles we are fighting some long battles where so many people in the church include the people who have who have been given positions by god to speak for the church even before authorities in the land they they have compromised you know like Esau, 
because of what they can eat for that time, the 500,000, the 100,000, whatever I can eat for today, and that is it. Somebody is not mindful about tomorrow, even the generation of the church tomorrow. Hallelujah. So I've spoken for God, and that is it. God bless you.